first sweep as the manager here at USF, six wins in a row for the team at home. Just overall, your thoughts on a productive weekend here on the Hilltop? Obviously, uh, really good when you can get three positive results on the same weekend. It's great. Again, we try not to think in terms of series and sweeps, um, but it's, it's hard. It's really hard to beat an opponent consecutive days three times in a row. Um, and Villanova put up a great fight today, coming back from 7-1 down, tie and run at the plate. Um, I think we lost a little of our edge. We were kind of complacent a little in the middle to late innings, but found it again, got it back going. Um, we were able to add on the lead, and luckily Oscar was lights out at the end for us. So that was big. Steady the tide and get out of here with three wins. Max, second start of the year, a little shaker today, issued four walks, but didn't give up many hits. Same with Jesse and Adam before him, just did a really good job limiting base runs throughout the series. Overall, what are your thoughts on the second half of the year? Yeah, Max, I think we're going to have that a few times this year. He's coming off major um, surgery, so you're going to have ups and downs that he's going to have to learn. Listen, I give him all the credit. Like, I've never had surgery and had to pitch after it and know what he's feeling. Um, He's a tough kid. He's a battler. and He didn't have much today as far as uh, command. He didn't really have anything. And that just shows you what a competitor he was because he was able to still get, where do you go, three and two-thirds, um, kind of one, one out away from going what we wanted, which was four innings. Uh, so when you can pitch and not have your best stuff, that shows a lot about you. And he kept us in there long enough. Um, you know, one inherited runner scored on him. But it's going to be ups and downs for him, and he knows that. And the mental part is the most important for him. Is he able to handle – feeling of it, how to pitch through being hurt, um, coming back from an injury. But I feel very confident every time Max has the ball in his hands that we're going to be in the game. Now you mentioned Oscar earlier, very good outing today, a veteran arm on your staff. This is second year at USF, obviously coming with the Juco route. Just overall, what does he mean to your pitching staff as a whole coming out of the bullpen? Oscar is big. Like You could see it when we used him at Fresno. It's kind of the plus and minus of his role is we always know we have him to go to um, late in games when – it's on the line, you know, and sometimes it doesn't end up getting to him, so it could be frustrating for him. Uh, but, you know, we brought him in a tough spot Wednesday night and uh, didn't work out for us. He, he did his job. It was just guys were on base before he came in. And then today was another tough spot, and he basically bailed us out. Um, if we don't get out of that inning where it was, who knows how this game ends up. So he kept it at 7-5, and then once we tacked on, I was pretty confident he was going to do the job, get us into the ninth. Now both Martinez brothers got in the starting lineup today, and they've been producing for you throughout the season. Just overall, what are your thoughts on them as a whole as two guys who didn't get a lot of playing time last year and have excelled in their roles early so far this year? Yeah, I imagine that's the first time they were in the lineup together starting at the same time, so that's pretty cool. It's got to be awesome for their family. Um, sure, the parents are proud. Uh, they're, they're spark plugs. They can make things happen. They have power. Uh, they both play pretty well defensively, so there's not too many flaws in their game. Uh, so they give us a lot. You know, that inning where they were both on base, both creating havoc on the bases, both scored on, um, I believe it was Harris's double at that time. That was fun to watch. You know, sometimes you forget that there's two brothers out there. Um, I wish I could have played baseball <laughs> with my brother. He was six years younger, so we didn't get to play together. But uh, it's really cool. They've meant a lot. You know, they're great kids who want to be coached. Um, they just they cherish the opportunities that they get. And when they're not in the lineup, because it's been in or out, they're, they're team guys through and through. So, uh we wouldn't be you know, where we are right now without those two guys. Now, back on the road this week, got at San Jose State for another midweek battle. Where are the keys to get the first road victory of the season and keep the momentum going? Yeah, I mean, you know, getting on a bus is different than playing at home. So, uh, luckily, San Jose is a little closer than Fresno. I'm still learning my California geography. But uh, I think, you know, we'll see. We'll have to reassess. It's always hard coming out of the weekend, seeing what pitchers you're going to have available, what the route's going to be. Luckily, this week, you know, the weekend series is pushed back to Saturday, Sunday with a doubleheader, so there's one extra day built in. But we'll see. You know, I think we just got to – it doesn't matter. We tell these guys all the time where the game is, how it's played, day, night, grass, turf, day of the week. I mean, just playing baseball, you know, have some excitement, come off the bus with energy. We played well at Fresno. You know, if we could have that same energy and enthusiasm when we get off the bus at San Jose, I, I like our chances of being in the game.